Hello and welcome to another developer walkthrough. Um, with me is James. Um, oh, hi John. <laughs> hi James. How are you doing? Fine, I'm good. That's that's great. That's marvelous. Right. Um, what, what what shall I do? Uh, I, well, I today we're going to show the uh, these hatches. We're going to show what's underneath them. But before that, we'll need to hack into this terminal. <laughs> John, can you do it for me? I love all the, the question and answer when I know what's going on. But okay, yes. For all intents and purposes, I can. Right. Okay. Well, you messed up. Oh, oh no! James. There's a timer! Quick, John. Oh no! Oh, um... Um... <laughs> Not quite. No! Just... Do we die when it runs out? Oh. Here we go. Oh! Okay. Oh, some mood lighting. Non-lethal, that's, that's better. Non-lethal, that's better. that is. Um, I'm not pretending that I don't know what's going to happen. A neurotoxin emitter might be more effective uh, as, as a thing. Who's to say that there what's, isn't a... What's wrong, what's wrong with my penis, James? Oh, no. Okay, so uh, let's start by going through uh, what these hatches actually are. So uh, I think I think the most important thing is how to open them, um, don't you think? It's pretty vital. Um, so you hit them uh, approximately 20 times with a crowbar. 19, 20. There you go. Okay. Um, no, you actually just press press E on them. Um, okay. And underneath it reveals a room module. Uh, an important thing to note is if you don't have the right security level, um, then you won't have like access John to that. <laughs> What have you done, sir? <laughs> I just removed you. So go on, try and open them. Even though it's not really proving anything, because you can't. You might just not oh, be Oh! They can hear oh, me. It they makes can, a sound. They yeah, can hear okay. me pressing E. Um, and then I'm going to add you now, so now you should be able to. And and you have to be green access or above. Marvellous. There we go. So now I have access to the service hatches. Okay, so you've got uh, three three different types of uh, room module. You've got one governing life support which is all marvellous there with the life support symbol. Uh, you've got shields, and then you've got lightning. Yeah, or system power if you want to, you know, Light say the right thing. Lightning is a much much cooler name for it, James, actually. Just the okay, just I'll rename it. I, if you could, that'd be great. Okay, so I think the next thing to go through would be uh, actually what are room modules? You know, what do they do? Um, and, you know, what what do we see there? Sure, so a room module controls how a room functions, how uh, either the system inside the room or other systems act on the room. So for these two modules, the shield and life support, they affect how well um, the shield and life support systems respectively can act on this room. So uh, the higher quality and the less damage the shield module is, the, uh, the, the, ma the higher the maximum shields of this room can be, and also how quickly the shields recover in this room um, is increased by the quality too. Yeah, uh, and I think that leads on nicely to um, actually what we're seeing here on the top, that uh, that grid pattern and what it represents. Sure, so um, each uh, module has the same grid of 4x4 four four tiles, and each tile can be either green or blue. And for each type of thing, so each type from the power to shield to life support, there's an optimal pattern of green and blue tiles. And the number of tiles that differ from that pattern, that means that the module will um, be slightly less efficient than optimal. Okay, right, so um, just to demonstrate this, uh, I think we should probably swap that out. So if I go stand over here and watch shields... Okay, uh, I'll go and find one that I prepared earlier that's the most efficient possible. Blue Peter. <laughs> yeah, it's even got the badge, actually. Okay, if you unplug the uh, shield and then plug it back in again... Yep, so this is the old module plugged in again. When you unplug it, it'll have to, it drains the shields because they aren't being sustained anymore. Okay, so you can see right. that recharging uh, relatively slowly. Although it's actually it's actually a relatively quick one. Uh, this yeah, one. Yes, so this if... module isn't too inefficient. Okay. But let's unplug this one and plug in the most efficient one, which has the pattern that has is exactly the same as the most efficient one in the universe. There you go. And there you can see it's uh, much more efficient. So uh, you'll be you'll be scavenging uh, other ships for room modules, uh, sort of tearing them out of other ships, um, you know, and finding where best to put them in your in 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 your ship. So, for yep. example, if you find a really efficient one, um, it's up to you to choose uh, which room you put it in. You know, every room um, that you know ha can have a shield has a um, the ability to swap out the modules in. Um, 
which is you know ideal so you, you know let's say we really wanted to protect uh, the corridor with nothing in we could <laughs> yes. put the optimum one in there and the, you know this one would be you know faring much better uh, in a fight yeah exactly um but in in reality we all know that you'd probably want to protect um rooms that actually have something inside uh, something useful um james please can you stop berating the corridors okay <laughs> Sorry, John. If you could, that, thank you. Okay, so let's talk about damaging uh, the modules then. So, sure, so um, as well as having this pass on top, each tile can also be damaged, um, either when the room's hit by a, a missile from another ship, or when you manually hit it with like a crowbar or something. So if I show that now. So whenever it gets damaged, um, some of the tiles randomly um, become corrupted, or pop off, and then they can't be used to uh, by the system to be efficient or anything. Okay, so we can, we should be able to see that here. So there you go. So now that it's lost um, two of its tiles, it's lost some of the maximum capacity for the shield module. And different modules have different effects when they get damaged. So a uh, life support module, when it gets damaged, it's like um, there's been a hole breach. You'll have air escaping from the room. Yeah, and if you so if you now go and break some more tiles, we should see it stop at uh, various points around the circle. So, there you go. Should I take it all the way? <laughs> Take it all the way, James. <laughs> this is not how combat will normally be. Um, <laughs> Just like board the other ship and whack all their tiles. Yes, usually. <laughs> although, although I'm not going to lie, I would love that. Um, but no, weapons, um, you know, missile attacks from other ships um, is the main way that rooms will get damaged once they puncture shields. Um, yeah, but, but for now... Uh, Let's demonstrate it and then we should see it rise again um marvelous so let's just quickly go through what happens when you um damage uh, life support i'm going to go get the other one on the hands yeah, just, ready yeah, get um, ready. just a quick note you can pick up modules just by pressing e on them and transfer them around yep, just okay. Go find the store. okay there we go okay would you like right, to so, um, break yep. it uh it being completely damaged is the same as if it, you take it out because um, when it's completely damaged it doesn't do anything you may as well not have one there anyway here we go so it, it should be fine for like the first few tiles that are lost, but the more tiles it loses, um, life support can't keep up, so all the air will just escape out of the room. And also the temperature will drop as well. Yeah. So obviously, uh, you know, in, in a fight, um, oh. yeah, if, if you want to swap that out, that would be great. <laughs> God damn it. I'll just open the door. There you go. Thank you. Okay, so I think the next thing to go through um, would be the power uh, room module. Okay, so let's have a look at that and uh, see what you know what is affected when you damage that. Sure. Well, um, this module only um, will exist in rooms that have a system. So, like this is the shield control room, and this controls the maximum amount of power that the system can receive from the reactor module place. And also, um, the more efficient it is, it has some beneficial effect on the system that depends on the system. Okay, and we'll be able to see that here with this bar. Yeah, so uh, if I start to damage it, it'll start to receive less power than it wants. There you go. So it should have... Yeah, now it's not receiving all the power it wants. And the more I damage it, the less power it can receive. It's like when half is damaged, it receives half as much power as it wants, and so on. And you also should see, after I've damaged it a lot, the shields around the ship should drop. Because this is the shield control room. Is that happening? It is. Very slowly, actually. But, 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 but still, um, losing power uh, in a ship, um, you know, especially in a room like, uh, in a system like Shields, um, is really detrimental. That's something you really don't want to become low, because obviously recharging the entire ship Shields at once will, you know, require even more power. Um, oh yeah. Four so, times. so even when we put this one in, um, it will still now be using a lot more power than it was before. Yeah. 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 Even, even when it's only trying to uh, fill up, you know two room shields because uh, we've turned the rest of the shields down around the ship it's still taking a while so um, you know and drawing 10 megawatts from that so that's really something that you don't want to happen uh, in combat true okay so uh, I think that's everything for going over room modules um, in our next video we'll be going over how to repair them uh, and how that which mechanic is in this works, room here which is the engineering room oh tease them a little bit James oh tease them but you can't go in here John no not oh, about. why not, James? Not until the next video that we record in about five minutes, but won't upload for a few days. Yeah, why do we do that, James? Because we're teasers, John. Because we're teasers. Also, I'm contractually obliged to die at this point. <laughs> <laughs>